from the experts in this particular field. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. On the issue, on the issue of tourism in Wales, a previous uh, Tory leader, when he resigned, actually not only visited Wales but bought a home in Wales. Can I suggest that one way that uh, the Secretary of State for Wales could help tourism in Wales is by encouraging the current Tory leader to follow suit, resign, and perhaps buy a home, maybe not in Wales, perhaps somewhere else. <laughs> Um, thank, thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Perhaps I could encourage the uh, Honourable Gentleman to persuade his colleagues uh, in Cardiff, uh, uh, the First Minister, to drop his ridiculous plans for a tourism tax, to drop his ridiculous plans for various other means of punishing successful businesses in Wales. And if he did that, actually, perhaps we could create some lasting jobs in Wales rather than simply uh, listening to his political protestations. Before we come to Prime Minister's questions, I would like to point out that the British Sign Language interpretation of proceedings is available to watch on Parliament Live TV. We now start with questions to Prime Minister Ben Everett. One please, sir. Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Today is a big day as we implement the biggest tax cut. As we implement the biggest tax cut for a decade. Increasing national insurance thresholds to make tax lower and the tax burden easier. These changes will benefit 30 million people across the UK. And I'm pleased to say that two of those people are seated here in the public gallery uh, today. Mandy Banfield and Alan Calzari, a typical worker, will now save £330 per year, with 70% of employees better off as a result. That is real money uh, for real people. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm sure the House... Uh, will also join me in wishing the best of luck to England and Northern Ireland who are competing in the UEFA Women's Euro 2022 yeah. tournament, uh, which starts today, and I'm sure they will both make the nation proud. This morning, Mr Speaker, I had meetings with ministerial colleagues and others. In addition, in addition to my duties in this House, I, I expect I shall have further such meetings later today.